Welcome to our detailed look at the Xiaomi SU7's interior, a blend of cutting edge technology and sleek design. As we dive into this video to explore the innovative features and elegant aesthetics that set the SU7 apart in the world of modern vehicles, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to DPC Cars for more content like this. The interior design adopts a wraparound cockpit design. It's plump and gentle. The riding experience is very warm. As you can see, we have floating dashboard with uh, the air vents, so the space for the passengers is pretty big. And uh, you could have very clear view from inside. The glass area is 5.35 square meters. So it's very spacious inside, with very clear view. And many people are concerned about uh, the uh, sunshine in the summertime, and we've already considered it in the start of our designing. So we adopted uh, the top-notch sun protection process. On the roof, we adopted the two layers of silver plating on the skylight. The UV resistant is 99.9, .9, IR resistant is 99.1. And uh, on the front windshield, we also have three layers of silver plating with UV resistant 99.5 and IR resistant 97.6. We have an evaluation report saying that uh, SU7 has the best performance in sun protection. And also we have the five display interaction in the cabin system. I will skip the details. And also if you delete all the buttons after several rounds of uh, test drive, I found it very inconvenient if everything is put onto the display when you are driving. It's not user and driver friendly. So I keep some commonly used uh, buttons, physical buttons, because it's more user-friendly. Do you agree with me? So, how many buttons did we keep? The air conditioning temperature adjusting, the airflow strength, those two buttons are kept, and we add two more buttons not so commonly used. The first one is the active rear spoiler and also air suspension button. Why did we add these two buttons? One of our friends bought a very luxurious car and bragged about it to me, showing me about the upgrading of active rear spoiler. After 10 minutes, we still didn't know what is happening there. So I thought I must be able to show our friends with just one second if you buy the SU7. If you press the button, it's just uh, lifted, the spoiler is lifted. And there are several different levels. This is to demonstrate the function to our friends with this button. Also, our air suspension can lift as well. And those are usually the functionalities commonplace in the luxury cars. Another reason about the two buttons is that usually some underground garage has a very steep slope. So if you are going down the slope, those two buttons will be very pragmatic. And also we can support the extension of uh, different uh, buttons, so those would be very pragmatic functionalities. We have uh, the tri-spoke D-shaped steering wheel, very sport style, with a diameter of 363 millimeters, and we have the sport style seats with the functions of ventilation and heating, and more importantly, considering the ergonomic features of the Chinese people, the lumbar support height height is designed at 135 millimeters, so your shoulders and lumbar will be well supported and bolstered. We have uh, elevated the height, so the driver will feel more comfortable. And also our cushion adopts a sandwich structure. We've gone into a lot of efforts in the cushion. We use the 3D mesh backing material with a thickness of 10 millimeters in the first layer. It's very soft with good ventilation and flexibility. And uh, in the mid layer, we have uh, memory foam. It's very comfortable. 
and also we have high density PU in the bottom layer to support 75 kilograms of pressure and it's elastic so it's more adaptive to long distance driving those are the efforts we have made in terms of cushion and this is the only one of this kind of sedan our seats also use the full green Napa leather it's very soft and comfy. As to colors, we have three options. This is galactic gray. The second option is sunset red. The third one, obsidian black. Those are the three color options. And uh, when the car feels very balanced, you could also feel very sportsy driving and riding inside. All the interior designs have been certified at the first level internationally, so it's very skin friendly. Even the infant's skin can directly contact it, because many parents will drive with their children on board. We are very attentive to environmental protection. We also have designed dynamic ambient lighting to increase the sense of luxury. We also have the top level audio system installed with 23 speakers, two headrest speakers, so in total making it 25. And we support 7.1.4 sound channels, which is the million level luxury audio system. And we also have Dolby Atmos. It's very beautiful and luxurious. Many people ask about the space. If you assume the cook attitude, what about the space inside? I keep telling them that. We have everything both on the outside and the inside. They look very fashionable and user-friendly, but if you go get on board, it's very spacious. So even though we look like a coupe, it's an upper mid-range sedan. For example, we have a virtual image here with a height of 1.88 meters. I am 1.81 meter. And in the front seat, the vertical space reaches 1012 millimeter. And for this virtual man with a height of 1.88 meter, this person has a very sufficient headroom. He doesn't feel cramped. And for the back seat, the passengers will also have uh, sufficient headroom. The knee space is over that uh, of a feast, and uh, that experience is much better than that of um, Model S and uh, BMW Series 5. So we strike a balance in terms of uh, the outlook design and uh, the pragmatic space design. Besides, we have a very big trunk with a capacity of 517 liters, and the depth is 1130. 36 millimeter, which is world leading. Now let's take a look at the photos of the trunk. If there are two to three passengers inside, it can accommodate 28 inch suitcase, two 20 inch suitcases, and another two backpacks. So sufficient to accommodate two to three people traveling. And also, all the camping equipment can be taken inside the trunk. It's very spacious in the trunk. For EV, the most challenging part is about the space in the front trunk. We have the largest front trunk in China, 105 liters. What for? They say that you could put in your fishing equipment. Maybe you have bought some seafood, your takeaway food, and the fish you have just gotten. Those things maintain the passenger seats if you put them in the trunk at the back. So you put it in the front trunk because they're smelly. If you open the front trunk, it's very convenient to use. At this point, you may wonder, actually not all the EV cars have the front trunks. Some are transformed from the oil-burning vehicles before. The engines and the gearboxes may 
be kept empty and you put another layer of plastic uh, uh, tab on top, they're not purely EV, but uh, we are the forward developed electrical platform. How did we accomplish it? We made a lot of efforts into this. We have an 18 in 1 triangulated frame. We put all of those parts together and uh, the AC and uh, the radiators are also tilted in the installation phase to leave enough space for the front trunk. So the bigger the front trunk, the higher the designing level.